You want to hear something really fascinating? Sure. This is a very gross study, but it's one of my favorites. It's a little gross. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they brought people into their lab. They sold them up into two different groups. And they made the first group wear a sweatsuit where they catch your sweat and run on the treadmill. So they sweat a lot on the treadmill. The second group, they wore sweatsuits and they took them skydiving for the first time. Both groups sweat a lot. And they gave them both sweat samples to smell. Poor these poor people. They didn't know what they were smelling. They went it. Everyone who smelled the skydiving sweat had an activation in their own amygdala, their own fear response triggered. In other words, when they smelled fear sweat, they didn't know why, they began to feel afraid. Everyone who smelled the treadmill sweat had no change at all. This means that, yes, we can talk about facial expressions and body language and vocal cues and words, but there's also something chemically happening with the people around us that we can literally smell fear and we catch it. And that is also why it's really important to follow our gut. Oh, dear.